I'm on a mission to find the best value car in Great Britain, and I found this. It's a Lincoln Town Car Stretch Limousine. It cost me £2,700 and it's 27 feet long, which means this car costs £100 per foot. But is it worth it? To find out, I'm going to rank it in the following categories. Style. Driving. I think I've driven over something, but I don't know what it was. Performance. Oh my God! <laughs> and finally, value. Comes with its own stripper. No, I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, wow. There are five points on offer in each category for a total of 20 points. Is it the best car you can buy for your money? Let's have a look at what I've bought. So the thing that really attracted my attention about this car was the gold paint. Lovely. Looks like someone's painted this part by hand and they've blacked out the grill. And they have also put tints on the lights which make them less effective at being lights. There's the odd bit of damage here and there, nothing too bad. It's a 25 year old car actually. I'm not sure about these white wall tires. Bits and pieces are, you know, a little bit rough. There's panels missing up here. There's quite a bit of corrosion in places lots of corrosion along here that'd be fine i mean this is the the part of the car that has been added so you chop a lincoln town car in half then you add about two and a half meters in the middle <laughs> yes look panels are coming off here roofs a bit moldy in places trim is coming off here but i don't really care you know 2700 pounds i think it's worth that for the number plate alone m700 usa <laughs> What's going on, on this side? Just a few bits and pieces here. Could do with a little bit of a polish, I think. Now, this is what I want to show you, look. That, that, that's not good. That could just cut you quite badly on your legs, but... Hmm. I wonder if these work, these little lights on the side. Got a sunroof, see if that opens later on. A few scratches here and there. Someone's keyed it, obviously jealous of such a beautiful machine. Another bit of trim coming loose. Bits of green in here, but not too bad. You know, it's been stood outside for quite a long time. Interesting thing about, oh wait, actually, look at this. Bumper's coming off a bit. Ah, that fits better now, doesn't it? So, interesting story about this. We bought it not from a limousine driver, but some guy who just bought it one night when he was drunk and surfing the internet and ended up with this. Then he sobered up and thought, probably better sell it. Here on the inside, the dash design is just Lincoln Town Car from 1999. Two spoke steering wheel, check out the horn. Yeah, it works, that's good. We've got cruise control and stuff like that. We've got air conditioning. Does the air conditioning work? Let's put the key in the slot. The slot actually looks a little bit like a Volvo. Hopefully the editor cuts them out. Start it off. Oh, look, there we go. We've got some digital displays, lovely. We've got an aftermarket stereo. Does it work? Doesn't seem to do anything. We have air conditioning, apparently. Does it work? The fan blows. No, don't think that's working, the air conditioning. Right, what have we got underneath here? Looks like a chauffeur's hat. Look, and glasses. Won't be wearing that. And, oh, the MOT certificate. Quite a few advisories. Brake pipe corroded, suspension worn, and has play shock absorber, light misting, but nothing terrible. Good. What else have we got in here? No, no, oh, that's quite like that. Looks like we have some extra power here for all the systems in the back. I think that covers that normally, but it's not affixed at the moment. We have some not original carpeting, and I don't know where the glove box has gone. No idea where that is. We have various electrical systems here, so I can lock and unlock the doors. This is for the driver's seat, but wait a minute, doesn't move backwards or forwards. Thankfully, the recline does work. Seats are really comfy. I've got some storage pockets here, and that's pretty much all you need to know about this. Oh, wait, telephone. Intercom, to talk to the people in the back. And what can I do up here? So it's power for the rear, that's the big colors. Doesn't seem to do anything. Lights, TV, sunroof, glass. What's that do? I don't know. And the, what does that do? Oh, there we go. If the people in the back want a bit of privacy. Here on this bench, it's just like the bench out of a normal Lincoln Town Car. Very squidgy, very comfy. You can have three in here. That's a bit of a squeeze, but there's room for four more people over here. So we'll just switch around so you can see what's going on. This. 
is where the party people sit. So we have a bar area here with glasses, plasticky glasses with glitter in them. I don't know if you can see that. Here we have some LED lighting to get you in the mood and a television. If you haven't got much to talk about, you can just watch this instead. Oh, she wipes it with a soft cloth, does she? That's the kind of thing that happens in the back of a limousine, don't you know? Anyhow, in here we have some beers and we have some Prosecco, darling. Yeah, a little bit of Prosecco. I think people who go in this limousine probably wouldn't have champagne. They'd definitely go for Prosecco, wouldn't they? It's lovely. It's comfy. It's definitely feeling worth the money right now. But will it feel worth the money when I hit the road? Let's find out how it drives. So I have a passenger, I've got Nick in the back. Hello, Nick. No, no, sorry, Nick, Nick, no. I can't talk to you like that. Hello, Nick. Hello, chauffeur Watson. I've never done this before, so it could all go horribly wrong. I thought you weren't allowed to speak on the phone while driving. Can I do this? You certainly can in the US, where this car was from. I suppose you must be able to as an intercom. Nick, can you do us a favour and go on to chat GPT and see if this is possible? I certainly can. Okay, you do that while I concentrate on driving. Okay, first junction. Remember, it is eight metres long. You're great success. I'm hungry, I fancy some chips. It's not open yet. I wish I could move this driver's seat forward. It doesn't seem to work. I'm a little bit of a stretch to reach the pedals because I've got short legs. It says I'm doing 2.7 miles to the gallon. I can't be right. Oh, 2.8 miles to the gallon. Can't be that bad. I need to fill up soon. Look, it's almost empty. But before I fill up, chat GPT, is the intercom legal? Using an intercom system in a car while driving in the UK is generally legal. Good. So I won't get arrested for chatting to Nick. I've noticed that the indicators are a bit overexcited. I need help. I need somebody to help me. And there's a strange noise coming from under the car. But everything else seems to be working fine. That could be about to change, however, because here comes our first obstacle. We'll get through here without clicking the, ah, the curb. I might need two spaces. So you're going to have to act as my like rear parking system, Nick, OK? I am your passenger and parking sensors, yeah. Where's that reverse? There it is. No parking sensors and can't move my mirrors. It's a trouble when you hit one of these on a very tight budget. Oops. Am I in? Should be in. Your ass is hanging out a bit, but uh Oh, that's better, yeah. Fully in now. That wasn't too bad, but before I go into the shop, I need to find out what that noise is. Oh! <coughs> A little bit of exhaust. Oh my God. It's quite rusty under there. Nick, bounce up and down like you're having a party. I'm sure no one's ever done this in a limo before. There, I can hear it. Suspension noise. Okay, you can stop now. In fact, do you know what it looked like you were doing? What's that? Something sexual. Although he's on his own, so. Oh no. Uh... I didn't notice. You weren't wanking, were you? Not this time, no. Nope. Right, let's see what I can find. <laughs> Hiya. What's the longest item you sell? The longest, I want the longest item. The longest item. It needs to be really long. Okay. I want the longest, the very longest item you've got. Do you sell long things? I can see a baguette, but it's only like about a metre. Sell washing lines. Washing lines? Yeah. Yeah, let's get a washing line. I've seen something. That's longish. Yeah, it's, long um, it's not long enough though. Um, I want longer. We should do the washing lines here as well. Really, no more washing lines. Okay. Mining board. It's a bit of a shame they haven't got anything longer. Note to co-op, to the buying department. You need to actually buy some longer items. There's clearly a gap in the market for people wanting really long items. <laughs> it's funny, the OAPs have all the time in the world, but actually they don't, do they? I'll be there soon. You better move out, otherwise your time will be up sooner than you thought. All right, Nick, let's go. Can you keep your eyes out for the cars behind? Sorry. Nick, can you keep your eye out for the cars behind? Will do. You're all clear here. I mean, sorry. Beep, beep. Excuse me. Do you like my car, do you? Are you interested? Do you like it? Your car's very short. Mine's long. Oh, is it? Do you want to have a look inside? 
Yeah, come and have a look inside. I'll tell you what, I will give you a quick trip around the car park if you want. Do you want to have a look? No, not in the front, go in the back. Yeah, I'm looking at this first. So you have all the same gears and things like yeah. I've got? Kind of, yeah. So it works in pretty much the same way, it's just longer. Have a look inside the back. There's even a nice gentleman back there who he, he's actually a stripper, so. Is yeah, yeah, go have a look at him. Oh, no, I like him. Do you? Mm, do it. Go have a look in the back. Go on, I'll give you a quick trip around the car park. Hello. I, I'm the uh, the stripper. The stripper, apparently. <laughs> it's the first I've heard of it. Oh my goodness, you got a few drinks. Oh yeah. TV, drinks, the ironing board's new. <laughs> I just got the ironing board. Yeah, it's not bad, is it? We're going to get you to do some ironing. <laughs> do you want to just jump in and I'll take you for a quick... No, I've got to go. Oh, don't be shy. No, I'm not shy. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> you keep it then. Uh, well, anywhere that's big enough. The, the car, it's yeah? Right. We're talking about the car. Yeah, yeah, the car, yeah. <laughs> it's ever so much. Thank you. You scared her off, Nick. She was all up for going for a drive and then she saw you. In reality, it isn't just my dodgy stripper scaring people away from this limousine. It's questionable past and mucky interior are enough to put most people off. Maybe I should trade it in for something nicer. What do you reckon I could get for this car? Do you reckon I can make a profit on it? Maybe. So maybe get three grand for it. Three grand for eight meters of car. That's a good deal in anyone's book, isn't it? Let's do that then, let's, let's find out. I think I might be poking a little bit out of this bay. This is not working. Let me reverse. Ah. Let's try again. Right, I'm just going to pop in, okay. Are we parked, are we? Yeah, we're parked. Oh. Hello, sir. I'm Matt. I'm Michael, Matt, nice to meet you, how are uh, you? I'm okay, I'm okay, you? Yeah, really good, thank Is you. Is it all right if I film this? Yeah, of course, that's fine, no problem at all. I want to buy something a little bit more special than the car I'm currently driving. I've just turned up in that, and I wonder what I could get in Pi Exchange against... What, what do I want? What do you fancy? I've never had an Italian car, so maybe this. So is this a speciale? It is, yes. What I'll be looking to do is trade in my amazing luxury car. Luxury family vehicle. Yeah, for something a bit more sporty. So would you mind just coming round and maybe give me a valuation on it? Yeah, of course. Okay, can we just go out and have a look at it then, see what you think? Of course. No, no, no <laughs> Come on then. What I know about this car is it's a Lincoln town car. It's obviously been converted into a limousine. Absolutely beautiful. It's got all the trimmings inside, full leather. We've got a drink system. It comes with its own stripper. Wow. And the number plate's probably got to be worth something as well. Worth at least the value of the car, I'd imagine. Really? Okay then, so. You're used to valuing cars. What do you think about this one? Would be the first Lincoln I've valued, that's for sure. <laughs> but everything has got a value, sir. How many miles has it done? It's done some miles. Let's see if I can see. Yes, it's doing about a um, quarter of a million miles. Okay, so run in. It's, it's nicely running. It's very smooth. The 4.6 runs beautifully. Yeah. It's not the most economical. The performance is adequate. Do you want to have a look in the rear? Ignore the bodywork. Are there any guests in here at the moment? Well, I say it comes with the stripper. Oh, he's locked in. It's got this special kind of... Um... Security. Well, I don't know whether it's security or if it's like a kidnap mode right, that it okay. defaults to the kidnapping setting. Hello. Hello, sir. How are you? Uh, I'm the stripper that Matt likes to lock in the back of the limo. Yeah. That's the second time Excellent. today he's done that. Well, just to keep you in there. He's yeah. gone with the car, apparently. He doesn't like to share. <laughs> so if you have a quick look inside there. I love the LEDs. Mm, I wouldn't special. touch anything because you'll need to wash your hands I'm afterwards. I'm not getting in there, I'll be honest. <laughs> Can I get out? No, you stay no, there. Okay, all right. You're part of the package. What's with the ironing board? I wanted to see how practical it is. So it's the longest thing that I could buy right, okay. the co-op. As you can see, it's very practical. I'm sure some of your customers would be very interested in a car like this. What are you going to give me for the car, including that plate? Has it got some service history? Or is that a silly question? It's been serviced. That's the history. It's been serviced. That's the history. <laughs> yeah. Grand? A grand? Yeah. With the number plate? Are you joking? Absolutely, yeah. I think that's fair valuation. Do you? No, I think it's at least three grand. If we can get to three grand, I'll buy that especially, No way. <laughs> I can't afford it. <laughs> okay, here's the thing. Go on. This and my GT3 RS for your speciale. Nearly. How many miles has it done? Uh, 1800. 
you want to do it? Let's go and have a conversation about it. <laughs> we'll see you later. <laughs> Unfortunately, we couldn't negotiate a deal. I just wasn't getting quite enough for this car in order for me to be willing to swap this and my 3RS for that 458 Speciale. Plus, I'm a Porsche guy, not a Ferrari guy. A Porsche and Lincoln guy. Now it's time to fill up the car because I have plenty of important tests to do today. Right, I think I parked this rather badly. Oh. I'm gonna have to do better than that. I've got to get this right and try and line it up because it's so long, I'm not convinced where the fuel fillet is. Let's have a look. Maybe a bit forward. Um, right, that should do it. We have a problem. Oh dear. Um, Is it stuck? It doesn't open. Oh. This could be significant. Of all the buttons to not work. Good thing it's excellent on fuel then. <laughs> it's all right. I noticed, look, can you see that? The chip's there. Ooh, clearly from being levered. Actually, do you know what? This um, feels like a job for a stripper. Can oh, you? Oh, okay. Do the honours. I'll pay. No. There we go. How much is that? <laughs> what are you like? Sorry. I did think it. <laughs> Do you know what? What's that? I didn't know how much fuel you put in there, but the woman actually said, you've gone for a sexy amount of fuel. Oh, you don't know how much? Yeah, I do now. <laughs> she said, very well done. I thought, that's not much. I'm sure you would have had a much bigger tank than that, but you were just being a stripper, weren't you? You know, old habits die hard. Oh, that was a full tank. I would have thought that it would have a much bigger tank, considering how I'm doing 3.6 miles to the gallon. Mr. Chauffeur Watson, I'm, uh, I'm feeling quite- Whoa, 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 whoa. I can't hear you. Hello. Hello, chauffeur Watson. I'm, uh, I'm feeling peckish. What do you recommend? The obvious. McDonald's. Although I'm a bit nervous because I've had issues with drive-throughs before. And all those cars were a lot shorter than this huge limo. Will I make it round without crashing? So it says up there, no vehicles over 2.6 meters. I'm assuming that means height. There's no issue regarding length. It'll be fine. Now I have an issue, obviously I'm left hand drive, so I can clearly only go down this route here. Do you know what we should do, Nick? Do your own order and I'll do my own order. Hello, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Could I order some food, please? Yeah, of course, what can we have for you? The chicken select things? Three or five things? Definitely five. Yeah, you have a meal? No. Yeah, you get two, three sources of that. Okay. I would like you to just do, give me a surprise. Okay, we'll get on the screen there for you. Okay, bye bye. Nick, you'll have to tell me when it's in the right place oh, for you. Stop that. That's brilliant. Thank you. All right, my turn. Does your window open? No. Does your door open? Yes, it does. There we go. Hello. Hello. Hi there. Can I order, please? Yeah, of uh, Do you do a long black coffee? We can do a large black coffee. A large black. Is it, is it still? Is it still? Oh, hang on, Matt. Hang on. You're driving away. <laughs> yeah, Nick, you, you need to hurry up. I'm getting bored here. Yeah, a large black coffee, please. Okay. That, that's it. Thank you. Thanks very much, thank you. Oh. What am I going over? Oh gosh. I think I've driven over something, but I don't know what it was. Hello, you right? Hello. Are you filming something? No, I don't know what you're talking about. Can we, can you reach? Just about, Did you select some interesting sources for me? Sour cream on there. I don't like sour cream. What would you like? Barbecue. Barbecue. All right, thank you. Oh, right, your turn, Nick. Tell me when to stop. Okay, stop there. Stop there. Whoop, there we go. Hello. <laughs> Hello? Oh, oh, he's on the phone. Just get him off the phone. Yeah. Oh, wait. You're going to need the card. Yeah. As a. Oh. Oh. <laughs> Not dollar bills this time. <laughs> Credit cards. Hi there. Uh, I ordered a black coffee. Cheers, Ben. Thank you. <laughs> Lovely. 
Thanks very much, Ben. Cheers. Can I have my credit card back, please? I'm going to keep that in case you lock me in again. That can be uh, that can be your payment for opening the doors. Do not use it for chopping things up with because I often go abroad and then the sniffer dogs will figure it out and think I'm some kind of like smuggler, okay? I know you're in the back of a limo, but no, I don't want any of that. Hello, mate, you right? Yeah, can you throw it? Great, good, good throw. No, definitely, you have to throw the coffee as well. <laughs> right, I just got to put my window up. I can't move until I've done it. So I can't concentrate on putting that up and driving. Thanks for your patience. Okay, Nick, tell me when. Yep, uh, stop there, please, Matt. There we go. Oh, that was a lovely smooth one, that was. Hello there. Hello, mate. Hi, have you got a coffee for me? I do. Oh, lovely. all milks. Oh, no, that's perfect. Yeah, yeah I like it black. Thank you. Cheers, Steve. Have Thank you. Take you too. For the passenger in the back of a limo, you're very courteous to people. I'd like seven friends and I've got space for them, so... I can't hear what you're saying. I'll put the phone down. Okay, I think that was a success. Well, there might be a bump here. Ooh. Oh, yes! Oh. <laughs> what skills! My spatial awareness is incredible. Ooh. What? What was that, sorry? The turning circle on this is rubbish. Now I just need to find somewhere where I can pull over and enjoy my mighty fine, healthy, balanced, and not in any way, shape or form, beige meal. Oh dear, I seem to have created a bit of a queue. <laughs> Look at the queue I've created. A few moments later. Full of chicken and coffee, we're heading to town in search of a real challenge. After all, it's important our limo can go anywhere a VIP desires. It was here though, I encountered the first annoying problem with our purchase. at this moment that he knew he f***ed up. Now. 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 Definitely almost crashed then. Oh. <laughs> it's a good thing this isn't an Uber, isn't it? <laughs> I can't believe how close that was. Bad chauffeuring, bad chauffeuring. Are you all right back there? By some miracle, I didn't spill any coffee on me during your impromptu emergency stop. So uh, yeah, <laughs> I'm unburnt and fine. I was quite surprised that I was able to actually pull off such a stop because my legs are too far away from the blooming pedals. This limo is made for the larger driver in more ways than No, this is not a good route. What? What has our camera car done to me? Oh, you're quite close to the wall there, Matt. Ah! If I just go straight, I can escape this. Yeah. I think I just redeemed myself from that emergency stop. Even the Range Rover behind us didn't dare come down. Nope. I'm quite good at this. I'm just not very good at getting people to get in my car. There's the bloody level crossing. They just did that for the lols. Ha! <laughs> Got he. Oh, watch your left-hand side. Nah, it's loads of room. I don't know what, I'm such a panicker. I think they thought I was a weirdo. I think they may be correct. Hello, would you like a lift into town to save you walking? No, that's where I'm going. Are you sure? Okay. She definitely thought I was a weirdo. Shall I try these guys? I just can't seem to pick anyone up. Hello, do you need a lift? Free show for him. I'm not a murderer. I'm not on a register. I'm... She didn't believe me. They look really frightened. Maybe if I ask a bloke, where are all the men when you need them? Oh, here we go. Hello. Would you guys? Hello. Would you guys like to um, eat your lovely meals in the salubrious surroundings of my limousine? You can just jump in the back. I'll give you a little little tour around town. I don't mind if you drop a few crumbs. I'll just take you for a little tour around here. I can't get anyone to ride in my limo. Just get in the bloody limo. <laughs> Oh, 
they even knew who I was. And they, that's probably why they didn't want to get in. Your reputation precedes you. I think it's you. They didn't even know I was in the bus. They, <laughs> they didn't even have a chance to do your stripper line. You're the gimp. That's what they, <laughs> the gimp in the back. They sensed you were there and your deviance. Is he just going through a red light? <laughs> he so did, he was busy looking at the limo. He loved it so much, he was willing to break the law. <laughs> well, there's old Bill. Should see if he wants a lift. Oh no, this is gonna take forever. He's got an entire school just emptying out. See if we can just sneak through this gap. No, I'm not gonna make that. Oh. Literally gonna have to wait for an entire school. Oh, blimey. No, there's more of them. How long is, oh Christ. They're still coming out. I'm not gonna risk running some child over on a blooming zebra crossing. That's definitely career ending. Is this it? We can go, they've stopped. Thank you very much. After a full five minutes of waiting, I crave the open road. Let's see what the limo is made of. <coughs> Sorry about that rear passenger. Actually went around there pretty well, apart from the <coughs> noise from the suspension. I must say, I really like the drive of this. As you get older and older, comfort becomes more important than handling. But the way that went around that corner then, it's easily up to the job. You know, I was on the speed limit. It went round without me having to lift at all. Ooh, in fact, it's so wafted, it's making me want to go to sleep. Failing to pick up any passengers, I've devised a plan to finally get some people in the car. Team break. We're all going to have lunch together. Come on then, everyone get around the table. Oh, do you want a little bit of light? Oh, I'm sure that doesn't leak. Do you want some bit? There's a beer. There's actual beer in here. Oh yeah, look at that. That's clean. Ugh. It works. She's talking about tissues from animals being kept in vats. There's something a little bit kind of Nazi Germany 1938 about this. Let's turn it off. It's freaking me out. You might need to open the door because he's got his hands full. Oh, oh look at that. The door where the door is. <laughs> <laughs> That's Thank a large you. Pod. Wow, it is large. That's massive. Look at Ooh. the size of that bugger. Beautiful. Wow. This is proper mm. northern sized fish. <laughs> yeah. Isn't it? After all those chips, I feel kind of tired. So I've decided to swap roles. I am now the passenger. And Nick's gonna be the chauffeur. Ready when you are, driver. This is more comfortable than the Mercedes S-Class. Why bother with the Mercedes S-Class when you can have one of these? You have to pay something like an extra 15 grand for the special first class seats in the Merc and they don't even go completely flat. This goes completely flat. Everybody's stupid. This is absolutely genius having one of these. Put that down there. The fact that I'm like suspended in between both axles and they're quite far away from me means the ride is just super cushioning. It's gonna rock me to sleep. That is just the perfect way to travel. I really like that. Excuse me. Chips. Being a limo driver, occasionally you may need to get away from the paparazzi or just do some general sort of evasive driving. So I haven't got a VIP on board. Instead, I have an instructor. It's racing driver Sam, who's going to teach me some precision driving in this limousine. So hello, Sam. I can't hear you. <laughs> he learns quick. Hello, Sam. Hello, Matthew. First thing I'm going to do is just a basic, like, donut-y thing, yeah? Absolutely. I doubt there's much technique for this. I just give it a lot of lock and a lot of throttle. No. No? no, no, no. A little lock and a lot of throttle. Okay, then. Right, I'll give it a go, then. Uh, speak soon. Speak soon. Bye-bye. Bye. Okay. I don't know how to brace myself for this. Oh, there's, there's drive. Oh, I don't like the way the doors lock. No, you're definitely staying in there until we get the job done. Okay, so, little lock, lot of throttle. That's all the lock. I feel like I want all the lock, I think you're wrong. Go 
the other way. Oh my god. Cheers! What do you think of that, Sam? Was that all right? No. Awful. <laughs> do you reckon you could do better? Yes. I don't know if we've got any tires left. No, if you just keep it pinned like that. Uh, I'll just try one more. Floor it. I'm getting a lot of understeer. Right. I think you should have a go. Okay. Bye bye. I think I've knackered the steering on this. Right. Handbrake. No, no handbrake, just go. Oh, the door's open. Uh, <laughs> uh, are you in? I think so. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Wait, no, I've got to get my seat. Wait, wait, wait. I can't hear you. I just got to get my seatbelt on. No problem. You ready? Yeah, go for it. Brilliant! Can we stop? I, I feel sick. Hi, man. You okay? Yeah, I, uh, I feel a little bit sick. Oh, okay, we'll pull up now. <laughs> these tyres are done. They're okay. <laughs> they're not. <laughs> they are so not okay. <laughs> feel these tyres? What's wrong? They're fine. They're all chewed up. Yeah, yeah, of course they're chewed up. We've been drifting. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the sidewall. <laughs> <laughs> they're just glued on, innit? Right. I, I want to do something else. Don't go away. Oh, what? I want to do another evasive manoeuvre. Uh, J turn? Let's do a J turn. Wicked. Okay then, Sam, that's some beautiful drifting, but now I need you to teach me how to do a J turn in this thing. So, what am I going to do? You're going to set yourself up biased to the left hand side. Yeah. Because we're throwing right hand down. So, the back of the car is going to go right. And this is a very long car. Mm -hmm. We want the room behind us to the right. So, I want you to take your right hand mm -hmm. and put it on the left hand T bar. That's mm -hmm. it. You're going to go flat out in reverse. Mm -hmm. Before you throw the wheel, I want you to bang it to neutral. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, big throw. Leave it in neutral as it comes around. When we're rolling forwards, pull it to D and off we go. All right? So what I'll do, I'll imagine that I'm being pursued by some ne'er-do-wells in that Alfa Romeo. Classic evil person's car. This is how I'm going to get away from them. All right, um, yeah, let's do it. Find your throw point. Loads of speed, loads of speed. Now, throw! I'm not even there. Whoa! D! Where's D? Go! Oh, that, that might be the gearbox. It may have just stalled. Drive forwards, please, car. Oh, engine service soon, it would like. Ooh. It may have rolled backwards. Hold some throttle down when you start it. I think I went into D too soon. Yeah, I think you did too. Try again. Let's have a look. That sounds like something's broken. It feels like it's running, but not really running. It's missing a little bit, I'd say. Yeah, it's not revving at all. Put it into neutral. All right, now rev it. It's all the revs. Okay, put it into neutral, kill the engine. Yeah. Put it into park. Now, quarter throttle, start the engine. Keep some revs, keep it to D. All right, now get moving. I'll limp back to Sam's mechanic, Les. He might be able to diagnose the problem. Is there a warning light come on? No, I don't think it does warning lights though. I thought it was comfortable. It's got air suspension. <laughs> hey! It's a sensor! It's a sensor! It's a mass airflow sensor in it or something. Stop acting like you have a clue. We came to a mechanic and he did it. Rev it fully, Les. <laughs> 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 Another J turn? Yeah. <laughs>
I wonder if we had a lucky escape there, we shouldn't in fact be doing this again. Almost certainly not. <laughs> <laughs> Should we just do it anyway? Yeah, why not? Keep going. Keep going. Now! D! Yeah! Yeah, baby! <laughs> We're out of here! Yay! <laughs> <laughs> well done. Do I get one of your special stunt driver certificates? Yeah, but it's going to be one like those honorary ones, you know, like in those honorary degrees. But yeah, you'll get one. I love this car. <laughs> I absolutely love it. Yeah, I think it loves you. And I love you too, Sam. I love you. Bye. We can have a moment together in the back. Finally, it's important I test car's performance, both 0 to 60 miles an hour and how it fares in a brake test. But before I do that, let me give you the car's stats. Let's have a look under this bonnet. Not so sure about this, the wiring. This is not factory spec. Hopefully that won't cause a fire. Anyhow, the engine, 4.6 litre, naturally aspirated V8 that puts out 220 horsepower and 390 newton metres of torque, driving the rear wheels only via a four-speed automatic gearbox with a column shifter. Performance figures, I don't know. I'm gonna have to test it for myself, but I don't think it's gonna be the quickest because this thing weighs in at over three tonnes. Let's see how quick this thing is from 0 to 60 miles an hour. According to my specialist timing gear, I am going to brake boost it. Go. Come on. Ooh, lumpy gear change. Uh, 15.69 seconds. That was not amazing. Actually, I think I can do better. So I'm going to run it again. But after I hit 60, I'm also going to smash the brakes to do a brake test to see how long it takes to stop from 60 miles an hour. Let's go. More brake boosting. Oh, that's about a star. Come on. It's feeling quicker this time. Oh. Come on. 14.94. Brake test coming now. All right, let's see how long it took to stop. 54 meters. Normally when I test cars, they take about 34, 35 meters to stop from 60. Ah, that's the effect of all that weight, no ABS. So then how did the limo perform in my four categories? Well, I think it's pretty stylish, especially in gold, and it definitely turned a lot of heads, but nobody wanted a lift. Now I'm gonna blame Nick for most of that, but there's no denying this limo looks and feels pretty rough in places. So I'm gonna give it three out of five for style. Next, driving. And I'm actually very impressed by how easily this Lincoln is to drive. I managed to get through all sorts of tight spots without crashing, and traveling in the back is so relaxing. So it gets four stars out of five for driving. However, it's not all good. This limo is very slow and you have to carry your own mechanic around who can fix it every time you do a J turn, which isn't ideal if you need to make evasive maneuvers. It can drift though, if driven by the right person. So it gets three out of five for performance. Finally, we come to value and I'm giving this limo four stars. The fuel economy is awful, so it won't be cheap to run. But how many cars can you buy for less than £3,000 that can seat seven, come with a minibar, a TV and a V8 engine? Overall then, this limo scores 14 out of the maximum score available of 20. But do you know what? I still think that it's better value for money than a brand new Mercedes S-Class. Though, I'd definitely rather have the mark.